If they come to the United States, you can really tell right away. You'll hear a Russian guy maybe waiting for the train, and you'll know immediately where he's from. He's like, oh, this train is bullshit. <laughs> Taking 30 minutes to go two stops, <laughs> you know? And they're always pissed off, or that's just how they sound like. And anytime you like hear a Spanish person, they're always just so excited. Like a day like today, they'd be like, ah, they waited and it's beautiful, look at this sound. <laughs> He's great outside. They just sound amazing. And it's crazy because I have family in North Carolina, and it's wild that it's only eight hours away, but some of these people just sound so different. Like my cousin who's 20 years old, I was talking to him on the phone the other day, and he goes, Ted, I was telling my friends that you live in Manhattan, and honestly, they cannot believe it. And they don't even believe that you take the subway with all the shootings happening. Kid's name is Adam, but you think his name was... I don't know, some freaking deep south name, you know what I mean? I don't want to judge like that, but... <laughs> Insane, bro. Insane, dude. So I was at this soiree the other day, like a social gathering. You guys are like, oh, Ted Jones is rich? I'm pretty rich okay? That's what we're calling it. That's what we're calling it. Anyways, at this gathering, I see one of my dad's friends there, which is a little bit weird, but sometimes, like, my dad and I roll in the same circle, so I don't know if that makes, like, him look cool or me look weird, but whatever. We'll, uh, I guess, continue the rest, of the rest of this story. So I see a friend of his that he knows. Her name is Randy, which is, like, an interesting name for a woman, for sure, whatever. We're talking for, like, ten minutes, and then we go to the food line. And then I asked Randy, I'm like, Randy, you think that's uh, broccoli or broccolini? She's like, oh my, that definitely looks like broccoli. And then a guy behind her is like, no, that definitely looks like broccolini. So we introduce ourselves to this guy, his name's Arthur. And then as soon as we introduce ourselves, you know, Arthur, myself, and Randy, we start talking. We're talking for like 20 minutes. And once like the drinks start flowing, and you forget somebody's name, you guys realize like you can't ask somebody their name, right? It, could, it would just be too awkward. So I, the entire time, I'm just hoping like somebody comes up to our, our group and just mentions one of these two people's names so I remember it, you know what I mean? I go, I go around and start to like socialize with some chicks, you know, like I'm a single guy, messing around, seeing if like I could find my girlfriend there. Anyway, it didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> a lot of old chicks there. Whatever. I'm not nothing bad with old chicks. Anyway, side note. <laughs> go back, go back, start talking with them. And this guy Arthur goes to me. He goes, he goes, Ed, Nancy and me are really hitting it off. And then freaking Randy goes, Arthur, my name is not Nancy. It's Sandy. And then Arthur goes, My name is not Arthur. It's Albert. So we were just all freaking a mess there. <laughs> Yes, you see the right thing off here, right? Because like this guy gives a lot of cocaine energy, right? <laughs> no, if anyone knows where to find some clean, you let me know. You let me know, man. But <laughs> that's a funny thing. Like today's days, I don't know anybody like buying weed at their local deli. You guys, it's legal. You, my man, and you? No, back there, you guys. It's literally how it is. It's insane. That happened to me at my local sandwich shop the other day. My boy Ahmed was like, good. <laughs> There's some fire. Oosh. I was like, all right, dude, let me get some of that. I tried it, just tastes like an inside of a plastic bag. <laughs> I got pretty sick, dude. I got pretty sick. <laughs> go, go back to, you know, I was talking about Miami briefly. I realized that when I was down there, there's just different rules in Miami. You know, I don't know if you guys have been to Florida in general, but wild state. You know, you're in the north, maybe there's like a hint of racism. You go down to the south, everybody's speaking with an accent, and it's more acceptable. But I do realize that Florida is probably the only state where a seven-year-old can be barefoot and shirtless in a Panera Bread, and nobody bats an eyelash <laughs> like it's normal. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. I had a lot of friends who I went to college with who um, were from Florida. I heard you went to Southern Connecticut State. Yeah. Uh, anyone ever hear that? 
No offense, I don't think anyone would ever hear about that, right? Yeah, so I went to UConn, shout out to UConn, we're in the final four, let's go! No, guys? No? You guys' brackets is fucked up? All right. My bad, we're good, should put them in the final four, dude. But I was on the tennis team in college, and on the tennis team, like, we would just do like the most immature stuff, okay? Like we had two group chats, one with just the guys on the tennis team and the other with the guys on the tennis team and the coaches on the tennis team. And in the group chat with just the guys on the tennis team every single day, a guy in that group chat would like take a picture of his wang and put it in the group chat. Like it was like a bonding experience or something. By the time like the heat of the month six came around, I was getting a lot of heat from all the other guys on the team. Be like, Ted, what are you gonna put a picture of your wiener in the group chat? I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I don't wanna do it. Do I make it soft? Do I make it 50%, three quarters? What's the deal? So I just finally was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna do three quarters, maybe they'll think it's half. So it'll be good. <laughs> so I go to the grocery store. <laughs> this is a freaking true story. I go to the, <laughs> I, I, I go to the grocery store. <laughs> go to the refrigeration section. Oh I get hot dog buns. <laughs> I get ketchup and I get mustard. I bring it back to the dorm room. And like this is when I realized like how come everybody puts ketchup and mustard in their refrigerator, but like, you know, at the restaurant and stuff, it's like in a cabinet, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I let um I let the buns, I let the ketchup and mustard really like warm up. On, uh, on my desk for a moment. I take my freaking wing and I put it in the hot dog bun. <laughs> I lather my wiener in ketchup and mustard, guys. By the way, this is when I was 18 years old, so it was way funnier back then. <laughs> lather it up, snap a picture, and I put it in the group chat with just the guys on the tennis team, and I waited for a positive response, okay? Like two minutes later, a kid on the tennis team texts me on the side. He just goes, dude, with like five exclamation points. Like as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, something's up. What What did I just do? I checked the group chat with just the guys on the tennis team. And there's no sign of my wiener in a bun with ketchup and mustard on it, guys. I checked the group chat with the guys on the tennis team and the coaches on the tennis team. And there's a picture of my three-quarter chubbed up wang in a hot dog bun with ketchup and mustard on it. Okay, as quick as I could, I did one of those carrots upwards and wrote, not my weird bun with ketchup and mustard on it. Nobody in that group chat responded, you know, so I figured I was in the clear. I didn't think anyone was gonna make a big deal out of it. Assistant coach pulls me to the side. Like two days later at practice, he puts his hand on my shoulder and he goes, Ted, you got a juicy looking wiener in the bun. With ketchup and mustard on it, let's keep that out of group chat. So I'm standing here as like an 18 year old male. I'm like, that was the most creepy, yet flattering compliment I've ever gotten. Guys, I'm Ted Jones. Thank you so much.